Oh, what's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. In this episode we are attacking the Prussian Navy under Pascal Feuerbach. Uh, lots of their ships are damaged and they've got a cadre of uh, larger ships at the front. Those will be, we will be looking... Well actually we might be looking to capture a whole bunch of these. Um, but let's find out, uh, see how things work. They've got a couple of bomb catches at the end. But yeah, it's making sure that we knock out those heavy ships of the line and naturally I have stacked the deck in my favour <laughs> stacked the deck in my favour because I suck at naval battles uh, yes let's get crack in let's start to uh, burn powder and sink ships so we've got two heavy first rates up front followed by my firsts with my admiral at the back of those firsts seconds thirds Wind, ooh, weather gauge is particularly terrible. I end up having to do this, so if I have to deploy, if I have to deploy, I can kind of, my ships are kind of pointing in the right direction. But they're coming right for us. But it's going to take them a long time to get here. Um, so I'm going to chop recording and bring you guys back when. And the shooting starts, so see you in a second, everyone. This is be this has become a very chaotic positional fight. Because I end up needing okay, these guys can try their best, try cut across in front of these guys. So I basically split my fleet into two. I have, two, I have my heavies up front and then my lighter rear uh, rear formation who may actually keep dealing with these bomb catches as they come about. I don't know why those are turned off. My heavies are getting into position. You guys need you need to just try and deal with these bomb catches. You to sail a bit more aggressively for the middle. Try cut them try get between Dax and well, this one. Follow the weather gauge, follow the wind a little bit more. Full speed. Actually, you, you guys probably just need to just need to get over into the mix. We might try and, although they are quite slow, there's really no massive need to. Okay, just keep blasting shots into decks, especially if uh, this one's going to turn. Show there. Well, you're going to show your stem to me, so let's try and get you against them. You keep pushing. They're starting, they're aware of the fact that my heavy fleet are arriving. Pop, you guys pop a, pop a little maneuver. Bomb catches to deal with. You just keep pumping shots into there. They're, 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 they're doing a complete turn against the wind. So that's a bit risky in of itself. keep firing round shots to be honest lots of these ships are quite badly depleted so 
My third rates are lifting, I'm doing a lot of the heavy lifting, but they are enough. Start trying to knock some masts out to you, be honest, because of your position. The bomb catch is routing. Just keep pumping shots into the masts. Actually, no, they're no big ships. I'll try to do some damage. Pumping shot straight in. Nice. I mean, if you spread that gap, El, El, El Gran Alejandro's waiting for you. If I bring some of these ships up to port the back of my line. Broadsides into Franklin. Keep going. The rolling broadside of the heavy first is getting involved now. That's you guys pretty better off if we don't. By our broadside. Let's fire it with chain. Franklin is routing. They likely will not go far. Way anchor, pump shots away. You're in a terrible spot. Here come my heavies. You guys all need to change plans again. A lot of ships heading your way. Okay, let's bring my. You guys sail on past. Now you come back to the wall side again. Get in, have a go. Well, if you start firing chain, you'd really cut some of these masks down. You need to get out of dodge. 
Oh, Sean is on fire. Thirds is upset, which is fair. Keep this heavy first rate. There we go. For some reason it wasn't grabbing them. So it's another mass gone. So ultimately, now the now. This ship's kind of protected. You end up needing shoot round shoot chain shot just so you can actually. So, Alright. Let's push you, advance you around this ship. Let's get out of there. Main mast on that. Third rate's gone. I mean, up here is just a free for all. We can start pushing our heavy firsts out. Firing as you please. Round shot. We start pummeling some of these ships. They thankfully just did a load of damage to their own. First rate ship up here. Come on, guns on the right, engage. Heavy privateer, fifth rate. The pass shot is very good at clearing out those smaller ships. Ah, uh, you're on fire. This has gone on Orion. If you just get out of the way, then Rayola and Nuestre San Thingamajig can pump some shots in. This is just carnage. Too bad we can't really take advantage of it. Well, there we can. Keep advancing. Fifth rate surrendered. Last is gone. It's heavy privateers. Wavering. Fifth rate surrendered. round shot just so you can pop some shots off at mid you sir ball side right press out against the wind Fire may ruin all of our prizes. Fire will spread. <laughs> One gun. Maybe you got some of them mass uh, down. Start pumping them with round shot. Decided to hit first rate, but they just don't take the damage, you see. Bring the Admiral's flank ship in. You're going to have orders to board Medusa. I'm sure you just did a real quick turn there. 
see. Round shot. Just start pummeling with a round shot. Not going to be able to manoeuvre in the way they want. Send this first switch up the line that way. some round shot into this fourth rate ship of the line. Oof. It's heavy first break. No, they are in good condition. Okay, everybody else. Okay, let's give these guys orders in Attachments. Excellent. Advanced speed. Pump round shot into Busan. Buzzard. Lock French. Okay, you're going to start popping off. Chain shot as you chase after them. No, book it. Fire. Need to clear out before the fire spreads. Oh no, it's out. Oh no, it's not out. Pursue them. Now it's everybody is chasing down Medusa. Everyone will be chasing down Medusa. Pedro Poderoso is just pumping with their are you chase guns. Are they up and spinning? No, they're not. But you're chasing down Medusa. 150 souls on board compared to our 221. You are making progress though, but as soon as this ship. Uh, ensnares that Prussian vessel. Although, actually, we, yeah, yeah. As you're gathering, as you're uh, getting closer and closer and closer, although, to be honest, I could be persuaded to break off. So you fire a... You fire a broadside of chain into the mast so that as they're at full sail. See if we can knock a mast down. Really slow you down. Let's do it one right way. Even though there's, there's more misses with this way, I like it. Especially when they will go this side because it's only the rear gun that haven't fired. Oh well. They don't look like they're withdrawing, and even if they are withdrawing, they've got a long way to go. They're popping off musket shots at their pursuers. Big round shots, so as we advance and start getting closer and closer, our ships will start engaging in round shot fire. Whoa! They blew my ship up! <laughs> and they surrendered! They blew up a third... They blew up a third rate! And then decided, well this is getting a bit heavy for us fellas. Let's let's, let's peace out right now. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, but yeah, we've got this... Lovely selection of ships. So we want the seconds... You know what? We're going to take them all in, except for the bomb catches. Bring them all on strength. So now this fleet, well, we need to take this fifth rate out. Replace them with third rate habit. There we go. This fleet's doing pretty well. These ships, let's move them down to Sandy Bay. Ultimately, I need to recruit. I probably want to recruit a 
militia really to occupy Porto, so I can use it as a base of operations. But this fleet get up into Porto, put in for repairs. And this set of ships can't go anywhere. Be able to stay close to Porto. Good, 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 good. Okay. So you guys need to replenish. Let's build up some industry in Ireland. Let's re recruit a militia unit to occupy Belfast. And let's upgrade the roads. And build some industry in Scotland and try recruit a sloop in Glasgow if they let us. We've got a large fleet up here. Are you? If you got any ships we want, a couple of yeah. You know what? We need to start. Well, we want to. Uh, we want to start mopping up the navies of the European powers because we want to institute our policy of naval blockade. So capturing a few of their capital ships will be very much uh, beneficial for us. Then we can put into Glasgow for repairs. Europa, Northumberland, Thunderer, the Acheron. Oh, I don't. I don't want to put my admiral, admiral up front, but he is in a heavy first-rate ship of the line. I put Northumberland as the heavy up front, then the Acheron. Thunder Europa, Santa Teres. Okay, so this is going to be a new one. Oh, we're not. For God's sake, didn't pick everyone. You, 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 you. you. Now I've got to. Because I ungrouped them, I've got to do it again. Idiot. But what I'm particularly interested about is I've got my rocket ship. I used to have everyone so all these ship types so spread out. There we go. Uh, you're just going to come in with them. I'm not going to do it again. But I've got my rocket ship. Advance towards the enemy. Same with you, same with my rocket ship. So my rocket ship needs to stay out of gun range, but also within rocket range. Yeah, Northumberland's at full sail, so is my heavy first. It's just about trying to flick between them. Yeah, these guys have good, they got good firing range. So that they're going to get within range and then park up, effectively, and just sit there firing salvos of rockets onto the enemy fleet as my heavy ships engage. So you need to go full sail, put the hammer down, otherwise my ships are going to be there. Just head straight at them. So they've got... Orion, the first rate ship of the line. Luke's first rate ship of the line. Auerbach, third rate. Then a couple of bits and pieces. You're not in range yet. Probably want to stay. Actually, no, you'd be okay. I say you might want to stay with it, stay behind my um, heavy ship line, lest you come under fire. But I think if we play this carefully, our rockets will outrange their cannons. Sadly, the heavy frigate may draw up our fire, but if I say right, go for Orion. Let's 
we're going to be close. There we go. Drop anchor. Pop off shots from this range. Although it looks like they have gone for Albatross anyway. There we go. Start popping off shots. Meanwhile, my heavy fleet is going to be in a good position to start blowing the bejesus out of these ships soon. You're going to fire another volley. You know, I wish they did a bit more on the reloading rather than just suddenly they pop up, but... Privateer is going to, the heavy frigate rather is going to suck up the uh, most of the damage. Now they're on fire, and Northumberland's going to tear this fellow a new one. Cormoran, just holding fire right there. You can keep engaging enemy ships as they make the turn towards our fleet. Trust surrendered. Losing decisively. Big fire. You better put it out, fellows. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. Now Orion is in range. First shots are slamming home. Gun. Yes, Albatross on fire big time. Slowly move our rocket ship up. <laughs> there goes the heavy privateer. Kablemo. Northumberland's reloading. Start with your next volley, Cormoran. You can start working on either Orion or Luke's, whichever you feel. Nothing decisive in that engagement. Okay, let's start to close the distance behind. I'll start to loop around there. Fleet, you're on fire. Don't want to get too close because you've got these rockets popping off. It is cool they can fire. Ah, oh, it's, it's chase guns firing stern. Makes sense. Pop off another volley. Ryan. Yeah, it's time to keep it's time to engage more now. They're against two of our ships. Rockets away. Thin well, thin profile on. Nothing there. The Thumberland's on fire, so deal with that. It's only a little fire. Oh, they're going to deal with it. Oh, lots of hits against Orion. <laughs> This fleet, this component, start to 
move across. Try to cut them off from the north. Play range of fire. It's, it's reasonable fire now, actually. Cormoran, get to work on Luke's. Too late. Walk us away. Ceasefire. You guys. Keep advancing along. Bring the second rate in. Come on, Thunderer. Cut across the stern of Orion. Yeah, you're going to work on Luke's. Redeploying. Fire again. There's the fire. Gone Thunderer. Fire as she bears. Alright, she's steady. Gonna charge. The second wave is going to charge straight in. Switch to, kind of switch to um, uh, chain shot and then start trying to knock out the masts. San Francisco DSC is moving in. Santa Teresa is going to be able to engage. Third race on fire. Rear mast has gone for the moves. States to steer clear. That ship's gonna. That ship's gonna blow. Oh yeah. Get out of there. Get out of there. A couple of good rocket hits. Kill the enemy admiral. Charging this line. Advance. See if you can get one. Knock some mass off of this fella. Routing. Hopefully, a blast of chain will be enough to settle him down. There goes the foremast. I was like going for train with these smaller ships because one good 
blast is all you really need. You start, yeah, getting a bit of fratricide now. shot your out firing out of range. Yeah, it's these two fighters, Northumberland and Europa. Should knock a mast out, yeah, I'll back off the rear mast. The mizzen, routing. Yeah, these ships are both on fire, but it's pivot because you can still broadside. Spin you guys around, fire a, fire a bunch into the back of this ship. Full speed. Getting that gone. Got a bunch of guys at the top of the mid of the former. Continue, because we want to take this fella out. Although, there we go. Now he had no no mast at all. He was not long for this world. Uh, our, our prizes are a bit limited. Because we get blowing them up. Oh no, first, yeah, first, third, four. Yeah, take them all. Sí, Put into Glasgow. Muchachos. Put in for repairs, then the fourth rate. Go into Belfast for repairs. Good. Okay, so you are repairing Dublin, still being converted to Catholicism, and they are coming around. Still sieging Pan the uh, city of Tangier. Okay, so this army here. Let's keep bearing in mind we do have an enemy, a potential enemy state on our doorstep, plus Austria to the north. But yes, if I can, so taking the, securing the strait is important, so we can use it to help, we can use it as part, in part of our fight to cut off the Austrians from the Mediterranean, or if not from the Mediterranean, from the Atlantic. Liverpool, Roebuck, Sutherland... Uh, we are consolidating our position in Scotland, waiting for troops to repent, uh, troops to replenish before we'll start moving south. Uh, in India, uh, we may want to attack Katak. Maybe. Just to get in. We're, so then we're in an inner fortified position, because we need to take Ceylon first. But I also, what I want to do is get up to Boston and say, right, you were... You were a guard army. Three, three infantry spaces. Can't recruit anything super cool anymore. So you're going to get another cavalry and two more units of line infantry. Then you're going off to India to provide support. Drop a few more in Investment upgrades, port upgrades as well need to be done. Um, right. So many upgrades. I don't think we're going to move on India yet. I'm just going to see... Where there's, a, there's a large British army here. Yeah, I might have to do it. Um, just so that we're in. We can defend Katak from future enemies until more reinforcements arrive. So they have howitzers. They're going to be doing counter battery against us, so it's important our, our howitzers do some good work right off the bat. 
as, quick, as quickly as possible, otherwise uh, we may be in for a rough time. Gunners up here could blast down onto the the wall. That's a cool idea. So how it says we do have carcass shot. Not do anything too crazy for the most part. Is, wait, are there howitzers outside? Howitzers outside. Oh, no, wait, what are those then? Are oh, those a unit of howitzers? They're just kind of idle at the minute. I might get one of my, my howitzers to start work on making a breach because it will also destroy some of these guns. As our 12 pounders get up to the crest, they're going to be a bit exposed. So if we can knock out or damage the wall at least a little bit, if we can damage the wall, we'll destroy some of the guns on the wall. Then over over there. This is very risky. Ultimately, my howitzers will mean we will get in. See, ultimately, these things are going to be. I'm going to have to push up some of my line infantry as bullet sponges, try and absorb some of the fire. Particularly the unit of light cavalry. Give them something else to shoot at. There we are. Good damage on the howitzers behind from the misses. Horse artillery is getting ready to fire. Mercenaries at the wazoo. Volley. Yeah, there we go. Destroy one gun team. Two gun teams should be able to get into position. And then I'm limber. Make sure my general's up here. Slightly off to one side. Oh, yeah, he's all the way back there. Yeah. You're going to keep firing at that breach. You're going to work on. This one. We're all going to work on this one as well. Well, you may end up being better off working on the same one together. Load your guns, focus on supporting one combined breach. Then carcass shots going to drop into the centre and start wiping out all these pesky cavalry. Let's speed up time because right now we are just making a hole. And how it says I'm not firing now for some reason. And 
they all firing? Yeah, they are all firing. Good, good. 65%. People have stopped manning the walls. Very well. Put artillery. Engage this section. Let's see if I'll do it at high speed. Yeah, they did. Yeah, my howitzers can knock out that section. Focus on this section with all my other guns. Because ultimately we can trap a bunch of infantry on the walls if we're rapid and the AI doesn't notice. Although the artillery is probably landing in somewhere else. Yeah, it is. Because I've given them an order in speed up mode. But they don't actually want to comply with it. You're still not up for anything. There we go, 65%. Let's see if we can... Um, so my howitzers do about 2% damage each. Okay, right. Now my howitzers can start to do what they love. Carcass shotting. Shells inbound. Ah, uh, whip. War oh, carcass shots inbound. Yeah, you know what? I'm starting to wonder though. Carcass shot, is it just better just to engage with ground shot? So there we go. So we've trapped a bunch of their troops on the wall. Get our men up here in front of the city. I mean, the artillery just shoot at the guys on top of the wall, I guess. Then we'll start to cover cover up both of the breaches. We'll start to go assault the walls on either side, and then jobs are good in because right now there's what's that? 345, 453, and six and uh, hundreds, hundreds of troops. <laughs> Sat there waiting. The command HQ is going to get flattened. It's currently right in the middle of our line of fire for our howitzers. Right now my men are just... Advancing into position. Oh, we did get some shots off against their colonial cavalry. I hope we don't sh start shooting at the walls. No, that would be a bad idea. With bodyguards. Hello. Engage the third light horse with the artillery. As they've come out. Okay, let's hurry up a minute. We need to start speeding this up. East India Company Infantry defending one section of the wall. Okay, so I've got light cavalry come over here. So I'm probably going to want you guys to cover gate. Well, ultimately, I probably want. You guys set up like so. Yeah, you 
units set up here to defend the gate. Start to assault the walls. Here comes the enemy cavalry. Where's the grenadiers? That's the wrong decision to make to assault them. Yes, my frontiersmen are there, but they're not going to get involved. Artillery just bombard the square. Howitzers just attack with carcass shot. Try to get my frontiersmen up, my colonial line up. You guys push forward towards the breach. Don't run up here, go there. You men secure the gate in that case, you men hold the gate, you men push the gate. General Stat. I mean they're gonna they're gonna rip through my frontiers, man. So enemy light infantry pushing my infantry squares. Gunners engage the 10th Regiment of Dragoons. And yeah, the militia. Oh, they've abandoned the wall. Maintain the square. Frontiersmen continue the assault. Get out of line. We've secured the gate here. Oh, dropping quick, quick climb on us, eh? Push the militia in first here. You men hold positions. Grenadiers push in. You men hold positions. Clean your line as you're going that way. Chase down the howitzers. Uh, artillery engage the desert camel mercenaries. Let's see if we can make them break without having to do anything. Howitzers engage colonial line of foot in the center. Yeah, you're too my infantry are too close, sir. You men take up positions and just start shooting. Who says militia are useless? George Washington, the fool. Well, to be fair, didn't say that, but whatever. Warm squares. Guard my militia in to siege the horse artillery. Colonial light cow chase down the light infantry. Push my militia and colonial light into the fort. Let's get my dragoon, my grenadiers out of square and charge into the back of this enemy cavalry.
Colonial Line, Bush and attack the East India Company infantry, howitzers cease fire. Colonial militia, engage the mercenaries. New men charge off the walls to support the attack. Enemy cavalry have been defeated, push in. Kill the horse artillery crews. New men get out of square and just jump on that last dragoon. Bring him down. Get the grenadiers in the centre, push the cavalry forward. They get the out of square. So now they're under fire. Wonder the cavalry attack. You can't be long, the, you can't keep up, keep this up for long. Got a new men charge, the charge the militia. Let's be a bit thematic and say, right, we're going to try and position to defend our gains. Those enemy units are significantly uh, upset. These men have regrouped. Now they're going to charge in again. Don't let them get away. My militia are going to start engaging the men on the walls. Yeah, for the most part, this is a good victory. We've got a foothold on the Indian subcontinent. Oh no, you don't. 20 seconds to rock and roll. Let's just speed it up, because right now it's only the militia unit in the uh, gate that's fighting. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we've taken, we've got a foothold. We can build on this. Yeah, so we're going to need to defend it. Can't repair the military governor's barracks. Hopefully, next turn, you can jump on Ceylon. And, well, hopefully, really, these guys will run into the city. We'll cap run it, run in, capture it. Then we'll be able to generate more armies for the immediate support of Katak, hopefully attacking, uh, landing against Barar. The, this, this army though may well get destroyed. We need a lot more overwhelming support. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers everyone.